all right uh, welcome to the channel again uh, it's been a really long time um, but I just felt I should quickly make this video um, because of uh, so many misconceptions uh, it's a video about sending mail to professors uh, you want uh, a research a supervisor a potential supervisor what do you write because I've seen people say they didn't get any response from uh, from their from the person they sent a mail to so how how do you uh, how do you get the response what is responsible for you not getting a response from a potential supervisor now there are a few things that might be very that might be responsible which I know now first thing when you are writing to a professor of course you have to be polite you have to address him as a prof because as we I mean somebody you've not known before yeah that is there but again aside that you want to tell this professor that say guy I um, have interest in your research work I've gone through so 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 research work and I uh, want to work in this line now first thing to note is that professors have different research interests part time they have different research interests part time and then as that you want to know what is the current research interest you want to know what is the current thing they are working on because if you meet a professor that has an interest uh, in something in a particular line and the person is not working on such at a particular time I mean there's no way the professor would want to follow you would want to I mean accept you because your interest is not in what is doing currently so one of the things you need to know is what is the current interest of the professor you want to know what is the current research interest now you want to demonstrate to the professor that okay you actually went through it and this is what you observe this is what you like you want to tell him about that thing is actually working on so now this will take you doing a lot doing a lot of search going through um going through his uh um his profile his website if he has one now many of them write current research interests they write the current work thing they are working on now if you have such a thing that is what you want to tell him about now because he has done a particular work in the past and that is what you have interest in does not mean he will want to take you in because you want that i mean that's not what he's doing currently that's not what the funding he has is aimed at presently so you need to be um, strategic it's very very important uh, very 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 important okay one other thing that um, uh, uh, that uh, student need to know when you are writing a professor is you should also include what you've done okay when you write a professor make it don't just write a mail and leave it blank you want to attach your CV for goodness sake attach your CV it's very very important attach so you want CV. to attach your CV it's very important attach your CV let uh, let the professor know what you have done let him know your research background and then of course your future goals too it's very important it's more like you are trying to get someone to buy into you to, to follow you I mean to believe in you yeah that's the word to believe in you it's it's very 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 important okay so write that mail to the professor yeah they in fact many professors need to do I have to tell you here in Florida State University what they do is they have days where they do seminars and then each of them comes to tell us hey join my research group this is why you should join my research group I have funding I have these uh, this is my current research they tell us their past research too but of course that's not what the funding is for so like I said you want to talk about their current research that's what you want to talk about so um, they always there are fundings just know like I always say um, do research where there is funding 
that's that's the key. that's the key that they that you like a particular research work and then you have a professor working in that line and then uh, it does not have funding he's saying it does not have funding or you can't see grants and all those stuff you the professor might not respond to you the professor might not receive or accept you okay you have to be sure that there is funding. It is when there is funding that you can work, of course. So many professors don't respond also because they don't have funding, personal funding. Um, the funding they rely on or that their students rely on is the funding by the department as a teaching assistant. That's the funding that their students rely on. Okay, so when you write to them, write to someone know as funding or from what you can see you can see funded by these and that you want us for example in the science you want to be sure is the person funded by is the person receiving nsf grants is the person receiving doe grants that's physics or chemistry or some other nuclear stuff that has to be weapon or whatever all those stuff you want to be sure is the person receiving grant nih grants for medical related stuff okay is the person receiving any of those grants that is what you need so many don't respond because they don't have grants and seriously they can't help you there's nothing they can do you just know that there is nothing absolutely nothing they can do about it and then many also don't respond because you have written on a past a past research interest okay uh, the research interest you wrote on they are not currently doing it so you also want to write on um, something they are presently doing you want to write on something they are presently doing that's very 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 important that's very important that's very important okay so um, I just I've not made videos for some time because I've been actually busy so busy but I just felt I should quickly make this video I've been receiving messages on Twitter of people not uh, people not uh, getting response from uh, not receiving response not receiving response from professors okay so uh, that is why I said I should quickly uh, do this video so you know what to do please hit the subscribe button uh, I really appreciate your subscription yeah it encourages us to do much much more all right see you later God bless you